It's time to hit the road and discover Texas with Annie Studebaker. Get ready to travel deep into the heart of the Lone Star State, meeting friendly folks and exploring fascinating places. Experience a way of life like nowhere else in the world. As we uncover the rich history and culture of Texas, discover adventure, discover excitement, discover Texas with Annie Studebaker. Today, we visit the Pioneer Jail Museum located in Pearsall, Texas. It's known to be the oldest building in town. The museum itself is the actual former Frio County Jail. This historic building contains the original jail cells along with artifacts, historic photos, relics, and more. Let's go check it out. My name is Robert Norm. I'm a local dentist. Uh, here in town, been here 30, almost 33 years. And as the county historical chairman, I'm wearing that hat, and then we also have a separate museum association. I'm the treasurer for the muse museum association. And so that's kind of the hat I'm wearing today. This was the county jail and there's jail cells upstairs we'll see later. And it, it's basically uh, pretty much intact as it was as a county jail. Uh, it was built in 1884 for about $11,000. Know, and we, we just kind of laugh at that. But uh, the uh, county sheriff and his family would live in the back part of the jail the uh, inmates or prisoners as they were brought in the front uh, of the jail were um, serviced and took, taken upstairs and the uh, cells were upstairs and it's, it's a very formidable looking um, appearance there and we'll, we'll show you later. As the association has, has grown through the years, uh, we became very active about 18 years ago and um, started developing a collection of artifacts. Uh, the, the photographs have been donated through the years, uh, display cases and, and items uh, throughout. And uh, we have um, just a, a wide collection of farm implements, uh, hand tools, saddles, guns, uh, photographs, dresses, uh, just the whole range of things. And it's centered on the time period that this building was built, the 1880s. And we call our annual festival the Pioneer, uh, Pioneer Day uh, because this is the Pioneer Jail Museum. And so we try to uh, focus on that time frame with all that we do and try to have uh, an annual celebration uh, and just keep things focused on that time frame. That's where we came from. And so uh, we want to try to focus on that history. Right before the Pioneer Day, we basically ask the fourth grade students and some seventh grade, because that's where Texas history is taught, to come through on a tour. And uh, then we have an art contest with the fourth grader. Uh, and that's presented at the Pioneer Day. And so they get to see firsthand and then develop a mental picture, put it down on paper, and then we, we present some awards to those kids. And so that's a way to try to involve and not just Pearsall schools, but Dilly and, and Divine and the surrounding schools. And the other issue that we have uh, uh, tried to develop in the last couple of years is the uh, Texas Camel Corps. Really, really neat deal. And in fact, in this month's Texas Highways is an article about Doug Baum. And he has, over the last few years, developed uh, several camels. And he's going back into the time frame. And there was actually a Texas Camel Corps that the Army tried to use as pack animals and go from fort to fort to fort. And they did very well, but it was a political thing too, and eventually it faded. But 
Uh, they were in service for a good many years. Um, but Doug Baum has developed this, and we've been having him come down and also do the school presentations with the, the camels here on site. And he dresses the time period, and, and uh, it is just a really neat thing for uh, the kids to be involved, hands-on, touching a camel. Well, you know, in South Texas, that's just weird. <laughs> He, he's based out of uh, right below Waco, but he makes the circuit and does, I mean, he's just busy year round. And we're just quite lucky to have him come and, and present to us uh, during the week. That uh, We usually do it a couple of weeks uh, ahead of Pioneer Day. A lot of thought and effort have gone into to trying to preserve the building and maintain a semblance of, of our history. Don't go away. When we return, we'll take a tour of the Sheriff's residence now filled with amazing historic photos, artifacts, and more. Then later, we step into the chilling jail cells that once contained Frio County's jailbirds. One of the entrances to the museum? Yes, it is. This is our photo room where we have uh, preserved and protected a lot of photographs of the different things, the different buildings, and the different people of this area. And we're quite proud of this because we we have a lot of old photographs and people love pictures. So. Some of these chairs are original chairs from the courthouse in Frio town. If you look on the bottom and it's got a carved Frio, then it's one of the original chairs. And we were able to, to get some of these from our present courthouse and be able to preserve them in this building because they are quite old. Tell me about this case over here. This was a donated case and uh, some of the items, as you can see, are uh, really old pistols that are in bad shape, but on the very bottom is a stone, and we think that's pretty valuable. It's a stone from the courthouse in Frio Town, and it's the cornerstone that was there that was laid by the Masonic Lodge back when the courthouse was built in 1871. Interesting. I see the big stone in there in that box. Yes, so it's, it's quite valuable to us. The bottles that you see, we had a, a bottling company that was here in the 20s, and these are some old bottles that we found that came from that bottling company, the Pearsall Bottling Company, which has been gone for many, many years. Mostly soda bottles? They were soda bottles. Interesting. This is a replica of the sheriff's office that uh, he would have used in 1884 when this building was used. There's a lot of things here that maybe don't pertain necessarily to the sheriff, like this this safe. This came out of the of the courthouse in Frio Town that was in that courthouse from 1871 until it, it was moved to to uh, Pearsall in 1882. And so this was a, a, the safe. We, it was locked at one time and we had a locksmith from San Antonio come and was able to op open it and put a new combination on it. But we don't lock it anymore because no one remembers where the combination is. And no riches in there? No Nothing riches. in there? No riches. Oh. But I, I don't think that you could move it very easily. It weighs close to a ton, wow. so it's quite heavy. If you look on the wall, we have pictures of some of the sheriffs who served and, and operated out of this building. One in particular was Mrs. Taylor. Ali Taylor was probably one of the first women sheriffs in the state of Texas. And she was appointed, her husband was the sheriff, 
And when he passed away, the commissioner's court appointed her to fill his position in 1936. The, the picture that Dr. Gorham was talking about is a, a pencil drawing on the wall and a prisoner made that drawing while he was in custody here in the jail. It looks just like a photograph. It does look like a photograph. That little bitty one with a hat on. Right, right. The, the mailboxes are from Frio Town, the post office at Frio Town. The, the general store there also served as the post office. And so we were able to salvage those mailboxes. How neat. And you can see the drawers that it sits on. That was part of the post office. If you see the branding board, we did this several years ago and some of the local ranchers brought their brand and marked their brand on this board. And we like it very much. We have another branding board outside that was done more recently in the last five years and it has more brands. But these are some of the original brands of the county. Some of them go back, some of them are running brands that they used when they were trailing cattle, you know, up the Chisholm Trail. But they, they are all, all local brands and a lot of them are still in use. The sheriff and his family lived in the other part of this jail and she did the cooking for the prisoners. And so this was a pass through to bring the food to the prisoners. The jailer would take the food that she prepared and then take it upstairs to the prisoners when they were fed. Interesting, so they actually lived in that part they of the jail. They lived in that part of the jail. My they lived goodness. in four rooms, the original four rooms. This, this doorway, when we, when we decided to try to, to do the museum, we found this opening, you know, by just banging on the wall. It had been closed up and we banged on the wall and opened this up. But this was originally part of the jail. This was the office and the other part was the family's residence. This is our kitchen. We have some of the things that uh, pioneer women may have used in their kitchen. It's a mishmash of things. Uh, we have a dress on the wall and with bonnets and um, shoes, high top button shoes that look very uncomfortable. <laughs> and funny looking. And funny looking and a, a doll. You can see the rub boards and uh, all kinds of, of different equipment that the wife would have used maybe. There's soap, homemade soap in the basket and then the ringer that she might have used in her washing. And on the stove, we have tea kettle pots, little cornbread makers, and cake pan. It's a pretty much mishmash of things. This is a spinning wheel, but this spinning wheel was used for horse blankets. It was a big spinning wheel that was used to make horse blankets when people spun their own wool and made horse blankets. And, and there's just a mishmash of things in here, an ironing board that we all still use, but not quite like that one. And this was a quilt that was donated to us too, and uh, it's just kind of cute. We have to hang it on the wall so people can see it. That is a cute quilt, adorable. Tell me about this needle on the spinning wheel. That's, that's where, the, that's where your, your wool would have been that you, you know, you would have spun your wool and then you would have hooked it on there and to, to do your, your spinning of that blanket. So is that where Sleeping Beauty pricked her finger? Yeah, well, if she had <laughs> one like this fat needle to me. <laughs> if it was that big, yes. Most spinning wheels are used for something smaller than, uh, than one this big. This Actually, this, that's a big one, yes. Yes, it that's is. a real big one. That was used. So if I freak my finger, would my he, prince come and have to kiss me yeah, so I wake he, up? Yeah, he probably would. Probably oh. would. <laughs> the stairway is part of the original building. It was a metal stairway. They're quite steep. So this is the original stairway? Yes. So this metal? Yes, they were metal. This is mm -hmm. wonderful. Yes. 
pretty sturdy. Yes, they are. Tell me about this place. Is it haunted? Well, it's not haunted, but we've had stories about this building being haunted. Uh, occasionally, when some of us would be here and on the weekend and be outside in the yard, and some of the jailers would walk by from one jail to the other, we'd invite them to come in and take a tour, and they would tell us, no, they don't want to come in because the building is haunted. And when you'd say, no, it's not, well, they would say, I walk by at night and the lights come on. I can see lights coming on, so I know your building is haunted. How funny, the automatic lights yes. turn on. Yes. <laughs> don't go away. When we return, we get a closer look of what the old jail looks like. This is the jail, and My. these are the cells, and you can see the way they're built, they're solid. The top is solid, and after these were, after you were locked in here, there was no getting out. No one ever escaped from this jail. We never had anybody to escape from this jail. I don't see how they could. Look no. at these walls. Good They're, grief. Yeah, and the water has been removed from the sails. They uh, uh, later, th there wasn't original water in here, but later on they put toilet facilities and when we, when we decided to make this into a museum, we took all the water out of the building. And so there are no longer any toilets left. They had toilets and later. sinks. Uh huh. And later they did, but not in the beginning. They just had a, you know, like a pot of some sort that had to be emptied every day. Like if a you... chamber pot. Yes, that was it. My goodness! Wow. But I uh, can't believe I'm standing here in an old jail. Yes, and it's the ceiling solid. And uh, solid My metal. Metal, mm -hmm. everything is metal everything around is here. Metal. Mm -hmm. It was, when this was built in 1884. It was a, the, the jail at Frio Town was not secure. And so before this was built, the prisoners had to be kept in Medina County. They transported everybody to Medina County. But after they built this one, there wasn't any escaping from the jail. Was a, this was a four bunk cell. You had a bunk on this side and a bunk there, and then two on this side. My goodness, so walking space was about this narrow. That's it. I barely That's fit it. through here. Mm -hmm. Good. So I better never get in trouble. Right. In Freedom this County. It, well, <laughs> I, I think the other facilities are much better. And you can see on the wall, we, uh, if the lighting was a little better, you might see initials or you might see I somebody's see name. That were they were in here and they yes. scratched their name in the I middle. I see hearts. I see writing yes. graffiti on here. Right, right. But this building was used as a jail until 1967, when the Benny Sanders unit was built across the street. And but it was actually in use until 1967. This wow. was the jail. And the sheriff's family lives downstairs in, in that residence mm -hmm. down there. The wife no longer had to do the cooking. The room we came, when we came up the stairway, that room became a kitchen and one of the trustees cooked at that time, uh, later on. But in the beginning, the wife cooked for the, for the jail. And, uh, but later, they, they would use a trustee to do some mm. cooking. So this is a furnace, you, they got the heat coming from a furnace somewhere? Yes, well, from a wood stove. From a wood stove. Mm -hmm. They got the heat coming from a wood stove here to keep them warm. And they had, a, they had a toilet that we took out. And I can't remember exactly where the toilet was. It probably was against this wall. But there was a toilet in here and we took all the water out so we wouldn't have the leaks. Hmm. Water problem. Okay. What was on this side? That's just an aisle. Just so the jailer could walk down and take a look at the prisoners. This this is the locking mechanism that would lock and unlock all the cells. You could lock the door. They would lock all the doors. 
but it still works. We have learned a great deal from this unique and interesting museum. Please don't forget to stop by and visit because there's a lot of history to be told. Goodbye for now.